Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today we are testing my four best universal tier threes against Galactus. Now, a few things to remind you of before we get started. First of all, we're rocking with Thor, baby. Thor is coming in first. The first thing I need to say is I cannot invite friends because there's still a bug with um, GBR and Danger Room Extreme. So I just have to play with random people and whatever, hope that they're not going to do all the, like, you know, I just hope things don't get skewed too much. But let's just, just see how much damage I can do as fast as possible, right? That's, that's really the goal here. Um, that's the first problem. Second problem is I don't want to reuse the same teams. So because I don't want to reuse the same teams, uh, you know, just to, because copy and paste all universals, basically, almost all universals, you're going to want file of L, for example. So because I don't want to copy and paste that, I'm just going to give them each a leadership slash support. So they're not going to have double supports. They're not going to be rocking like crazy, insane, maxed out builds with all using Nick Fury and all using Coulson or Phylavel or whatever. So yeah, we've got uh, Nova, both Novas. Big Nova is giving Thor both a 30% leadership and a passive effect. So you've got your support leadership there. Again, because I can't invite people to play with, I hope that the teammates I get in every single clear actually have a brain and know what to do. But we're doing uh, we're doing pretty well right now, I'd say. Thor uh, hasn't hasn't proc'd his his rage yet here, but there's usually always some weird bug when uh, when Galactus goes down. Okay, so we're at 20. Oh, man. yo, uh, what's his name? Looks so sick. Uh, Mysterio. We're going to do three first, and then we're going to pop five, six to get the most damage out of that. But this is basically a solo carry with interruptions. Again, not a max build, so you get a more equal balanced testing for all the characters because they're sort of, it's sort of like a raw, it's more, this is closer to a raw damage test, right? With no leaderships no passives i just didn't want this to take 10 years so i decided let's bring along one leadership one passive we'll get to see the rewards we're gonna do four first here because five was still on cooldown and because i really don't want to oh boy i really don't want to sit through another one of these we just had somebody disconnect so hopefully thor with his tier three can finish null here awesome there we go so two and a half minutes from thor full carry with this team he can definitely go faster like i said if you give him nick fury and file Lavelle, but this is two and a half minutes pretty much exactly on the dot with a pretty straightforward lineup up next we've got ghost rider tier three the other 800 ccf comparator here and he's got the ghost panther support giving him both a leadership with fire damage and the support passive with additional damage to villains and more fire damage so even though his leadership is actually not that good it's only whatever 30 percent fire damage um it makes up for it because his passive has an additional 50 percent fire damage that synergizes specifically with fire types like ghost rider so it's kind of a two in one we're gonna need to get out of the way here unlike thor uh ghost rider does not have a heal so we got to be a little bit more careful when we play he's a little bit less tanky but we are doing tons of damage already 23 mil we've got a bit unlucky with the uh sort of canceling the thing with galactus that actually makes a lot of these runs pretty uh different in terms of the timing is the ability to cancel certain phases uh canceling phases and having certain phases do certain attacks for sentry or for uh, galactus did i say sentry anyways that's going to definitely change your run like you can get a perfect run where Galactus does a bunch of those punching abilities, but yo, Ghost Rider does so much damage. But those, you know, if he does a bunch of those punching uh, attacks, then you can fly through and you can have like a sub one minute run. But if you get a run where he does a lot of the attacks where you have to run away uh, because you'll die because he's targeting you with those purple circles underneath, then you really have no choice. But this is over, wow. So a remarkably, a remarkably fast one minute and 32 seconds from ghost rider and that in my opinion has a lot to do with his 120 percent damage to villains just cranks out the damage i'm actually kind of shocked that he was a minute faster than thor i think he got a bit luckier with uh with Ga galactus rotations but man oh man he did that fast that was impressive 
Next up, we've got Sentry with uh, Nick Fury's lead and support. So because we've got Nick Fury doing both leadership and support, we do not need to bring along any other support. We don't want to imbalance things. Sentry's a big boy. He does not have gear 25, but that's basically all he's missing at this point. And I just don't have the uh, resources to really take him there. Should have popped the tier 3, but I didn't know if, Sentry, if uh, Goliathus was going to switch. Um... Oh, he seems like he's really dead set on being in this um, in this phase. He doesn't want to switch. Cool. Yeah. Okay. There he goes. But yeah, 20 million damage in 35 seconds is not bad at all for the big scent. Can we call him the big scent? I have no idea. So here we get the rock attack. Again, the phases are really what dictate how fast you can clear this. I'm going to play a little bit more aggressively. Oh, and I just died. Yeah. See, this is why... The phases really matter because if that was ghost rider or thor i would not have been able to risk or even odin right you just cannot risk it whatsoever with a character that can't revive i now have to play more carefully too with sentry but uh he's pretty tanky so we'll see if he takes some damage here he shouldn't take any damage so i should be able to continuously wail on um galactus while he's in this phase oh there we go now i'm taking damage scary oh there we go we're good tier three we've already passed the ghost rider limit wow ghost rider was so fast it's so funny because ghost rider is worse than sentry and thor for world boss because you need to bring another character that can stack all defense down because ghost rider doesn't have any all defense down but then when it comes to this content where you don't have to worry about all defense down he's so good right ghost rider is just so good let that punch go my dude want to finish this before the heal phase because we did have someone disconnect but it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to do that yeah see this is also affecting the run because <laughs> you can see uh hilariously galactus's health like yo-yo yeah so i think ghost rider got a little lucky and sentry definitely got unlucky but that's just part of the normal rng of the match but there you go that was much close. That's basically dead on with Thor. Two minutes and 25 seconds. So Odin and Odin and Sentry are neck in neck for speed. Uh, but we did end up doing more damage. We only did about 65 to 70 million with Thor and Ghost Rider. We ended up doing 80 million there. So 10 million more with Sentry because of the healing. So he technically put, would have done it faster. Maybe like 10 or 15 or 20 seconds faster had Galactus not been able to heal. Last but not least, we have the All-Father, and here, because I gave him the Hyperion lead, which is pretty straightforward, just a 45%, I went ahead and gave him Coulson just for a little bit of an extra bump, because, you know, compared to all of the extra buffs that, uh, you know, Nick Fury has, or, or uh, Ghost Panther, I just felt it was a little bit more fair. We're gonna hold the Tier 3 here to give him a little bit more. So 14 million in about 20 seconds, not bad. We're gonna pop the tier, tier three here first because we can cancel it into other skills. There we go, stack everything on the four. Gorgeous damage from Odin. Okay, we got knocked away. I think he's gonna change phases, so I don't want to, yep. See, yeah, you gotta anticipate this a little bit here. So we're gonna do two, six, four. Or 2652. Eh. Th sorry, 3. 3-6. Three, the accumulation is so important. I'll use the co-op skill, sure. I'm gonna do oh. Oh, okay. I made a mistake there. I was taking damage even though I had the invincibility up. So we would have lost this time anyways, because I wouldn't have been able to attack with Odin. So we may maybe lose a couple of seconds here. Yeah, team my teammates did not even um Okay, and then, uh, and then, yeah, Galactus goes into the next phase. Sure. Okay, weird. Five, three, two, four. Bunch of damage there. Yeah, Odin's damage, if you get a lucky roll on the, on the, on the Galactus attacks. Yeah, we're getting really bad Galactus attacks here. But if you get a lucky roll on the attacks, Odin can pump out a ton of damage really fast. And you see that he just cranks like five six bars in the time it takes galactus to stop attacking and go into the next phase odin just shreds with all these bars oh tell me we have enough damage we're just a little bit short here 
Nice, we got it. There we go. So even with the interruption, he comes in at two minutes and two seconds. So I definitely could have shaved that down to maybe like 145. And it could have been even lower if uh, we hadn't got interrupted and hadn't gotten those bad attacks. But just based on my play style uh, or my, my decisions when I was playing, I could have done it a little bit, a little bit faster. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I think 230 was really slow for Thor. Maybe it was just a team up that I chose with the two Novas. Keep in mind, the two Novas get an extra um, bonus energy attack. So he had a 35% energy attack lead and he had the 40% increased damage to villains. But I feel like maybe I gave Thor the lowest sort of buffs. I'm not quite sure. See, he had the 25% ignore dodge and the 40% increased damage to villains. And they had the 30% there. And then they had to team up with the two Nova core for the extra energy attack. But maybe... Maybe I could have given him a regular 30% lead, like from Captain Marvel, and then given him Phyla Vell. Maybe that would have been a more fair uh, balancing of the, the the supports compared to Ghost Rider, Ghost Panther, Nick Fury, and Sentry, and then Coulson and um, Odin. So let me know what you guys think. There were some there were some uh, insights as well. I think Coulson and Ghost Panther have insight. No, I think just Coulson has a, has an insight, but Ghost Panther, Nick Fury, and the rest don't have insight. So I, I should have calculated for that, but. Yeah. Anyways, it's more for fun than like an, you know, an absolute science here. They all clocked in under two and a half minutes, which is crazy fast. We were, we were trying to get, we were asking for more universals, right? For last year. And, and now we have too many good ones and we don't know what to do with all of them. So yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.